And for Off the Block, I'm Vinny Lopes, and we are now joined by Lewis men's volleyball head coach Dan Friend after his team knocked off number one Loyola last night in four games. And coach, lots of people throughout the volleyball community were watching the match, some pretty entertaining volleyball. Can you talk about how you thought your team played last night? Well, I thought we did some really nice things for sure from the service line. Uh, and I think that's one of the things we talked about. Uh, Loyola is such a great offensive team. Uh, and in order to give yourself an opportunity on the defensive side, uh, I think you got to bring some serving pressure. And I thought we did that uh, throughout the match at different times. And different guys stepped up. Of course, you know, fifth for sure was six aces. Uh, was key in that component. Uh, and he was one of our better point scoring rotations uh, for sure. But uh, we were able to do that and then capitalize on some opportunities. And then at the same time, I thought our offense uh, stayed up with him. Do you know what I mean? In terms of siding out. And, you know, some guys took some big swings at different times. And Scotty did a good job with some distribution. So that was great to see. Yeah. And talking about Federer, you know, he had. Um six aces on the night, two coming in that um, fourth game overtime. You know, have you ever seen a performance like that, you know, especially, you know, kind of in a late match situation where someone is able to just go back-to-back aces to win it? I'm not sure back-to-back aces like that to finish a match off, especially of that caliber, <laughs> but I think Fitz been in those positions for us where he's back there serving, and he even talked a couple of times throughout his career where he missed a couple of those big serves and opportunities, and uh, when you've been through those situations, I think it gives you confidence to go out and execute. And I and I thought Fit did that. You know, he wanted the ball, he wanted to be in that position, uh, he wanted to create that opportunity for his team, uh, and that's what how it kind of laid out. I think uh, we had some other guys in different matches though that have served some great balls. We had last year IPFW where a guy came in and. Uh, Pat Lilly went on a serving run to come back in the fifth game, and so I think that feeds off each other, do you know what I mean? The guys yeah. being confident in those situations and wanting to go back and wanting to make those serves. Yeah, Coach, I'm kind of interested, you know, because you talked about wanting to put a lot of service pressure on Loyola, and your guys really did that. You know, as a coach, you know, how are you kind of able to build that mentality of just being able to go back there to the line and rip it? You know, when we talk about getting into your uh, confidence and comfort zone back there uh, and being successful in that, and, you know, we do different things in practice from gun and speed range to things like that, uh, and then implementing that in games and really talking about uh, creating that pressure. And it's not always about, hey, i got to go back and serve 100%. Uh, i got to go back and serve a gap and make those guys make decisions. Uh, and I think as you do it more and more and become more confident, uh, you're able to put more pressure and more pressure and even more speed on the ball. Uh, and then mixing off different speeds and cutting things off and you know those are different ways to create that it's just not hitting the ball hard but uh you know doing different things range wise and training that in the gym on a day-to-day basis you know it gives your guys confidence to go out and execute that in games and reminding them to execute that no matter who you're playing yeah, and coach looking offensively for you guys last night greg petty had 20 plus kills in the victory can you talk a little bit about his play not only last night but just throughout the season for you guys well, I think he's been great. You know what I mean? You know, ultimately, he stepped up last night, took some big swings at crucial times, and uh, definitely scored his points. And, uh, you know, he also did some great things from the serving line as well as the passing line. And I think uh, your go-to guys are going to step up in those situations, you know, whether it be Greg Petty or a Jeff Powell or an Eric Fitter or any of that stuff. And I think uh, it's nice to have that one-two punch on the outside where, you know, even Jeff had some key kills at, uh, I think it was the third game, he scored six points for us, you know what I mean? And so I I think at different times those guys are able to feed off each other and uh, Gray was a recipient of it, even having a few more kills getting in that 20 range and uh, you know it's a great uh, uh, you know, compliment to both those guys. Yeah. And I know it's only one match you know you still have a lot of volleyball left but what type of statement do you think a win like this sends to the rest of the country? Well I just think that I mean a lot of teams knew we were good uh, and I just think it just shows the other teams that maybe thought we weren't uh, says, hey, you know, Lewis is playing some pretty high level volleyball. And I think uh, the guys know we are. Uh, and I think there's some programs that know we are. And so hopefully this shows us some programs that maybe didn't see that. It's like, you know, Lewis is definitely in that mix of top teams in the country. And uh, hopefully we kind of made that statement a little bit. But like you said, in turn, there's a lot of volleyball. We still got, you know, 10 Miva Conference games, and the Miva's a grind this year. And we got to go to Ohio State, who's, I think, on an eight or nine match home winning streak. And they're playing some great volleyball this year and leading the country in aces per game. So I think you're not going to get a night off here in the next few matches in terms of what we're trying to do and uh, you know we're already prepping for that game and uh, I think it'll be great. Yeah and coach final question about that Ohio State match you know is it good to have a veteran team in this situation so they're they don't have a letdown or there's no hangover and they're moving on to the next one ready for Ohio State? I think it, yeah definitely I think it's key I think uh, our guys understand the impact our guys told the guys 
guys are relishing a win. The guys do that last night. The guy will come today ready to work and ready to work on the things that we got to get better at and implement what we need to do against Ohio State. And they understand the impact. Tough gym to play in, big arena. Uh, so it's way different than what we're used to playing in. And so we go down there the night before and practice a little bit and try to get used to that. And uh, I think, uh, you know, Ohio, Ohio State's going to be gunner for us. You know what I mean, they're going to be coming after us hard. Our guys have to understand that.